coming right up. We'll bring out the pyrotechnics as a team of courageous stunt drivers takes out Beverly Hills on Stuntmaster. Andy Gill. And today, these stunt brothers are unleashing their talents on the streets of Beverly Hills. Movie makers didn't think the rich residents of Beverly Hills would appreciate wrecking their city in the name of cinema. So this film crew went south of the border to shoot the action-adventure movie The Taking of Beverly Hills. Just outside Mexico City, they built their own Beverly Hills, complete with all the famous name stores and opulent mansions. As soon as the temporary city was constructed, its destruction was put in the hands of this man, stunt coordinator Jack Gill. A veteran of 20 years, Jack is one of the top car and motorcycle stunt masters in the business. He helped found the International Stunt Association, a group that focuses on safety. And Jack showed he has the right stuff by getting behind the wheel himself in the taking of Beverly Hills. With any kind of stunts, there's a million things that can go wrong. And if you don't think about an, an out, you know, what if such and such happens, where are you going to go? What if somebody runs out in front of the street? Are you going to abort it? Are you going to go ahead and push the cannon? What are you going to do? And then as long as you're, you're thinking about outs, you're not thinking about how dangerous it is. Jack was behind stunts on the action TV shows The Dukes of Hazard, The Fall Guy, and Knight Rider. He's also performed hair-raising stunts in such hit movies as Terminator 2, Tequila Sunrise, and Rambo. If you stay in a lot of sets, you see a lot of things go wrong, and you learn why they went wrong, and then you see a lot of things go right, and you see why they went right, and then you try and absorb all of that information. And hopefully you'll learn how to, how to rig things, because that's where I learned, is I learned being around a lot of guys that did a lot of stunts. The stunt business is also a family business for Jack. Married to actress Morgan Brittany, she's developed a line of clothes for children called Stunt Gear. There's a whole different side of stunt people that a lot of people don't know. And that is that they're very sane, they're very safe. Uh, in order to make the stunts come off as well as they do, they've got to know what they're doing. In fact, Jack's helped train his brother Andy, who does many of the difficult car stunts in the taking of Beverly Hills. On this show, my brother did his first cannon roll. He'd never done one before in his life. And it worked fine, it worked you know, very well, but he was very apprehensive about it. He didn't know how, what was gonna happen, and even though I tried to explain to him what exactly is gonna happen, there's no way you can convey that feeling. Well, where do you want this for the ramp? A little nearer? In this movie, Jack works closely with director Sidney Fury to produce the wall-to-wall -wall explosive action. He tells me what he wants to see, and then I make it happen. As filming progresses, the stunts get increasingly difficult. One of many is a pipe ramp car jump. That's a precision nightmare. Jack gives stuntman Phil Colotta last minute tips before he tries to slam through the Giorgio Armani store. Phil has to hit the narrow pipe ramp exactly. A hard thing to do in the dark. White tape is placed on the ramp to make it easier to see. If Phil is off just a little, it could destroy the scene, the car, and him. After several test runs, Phil is ready to attempt this tricky maneuver. Okay, stand by. Go ahead, Jorge, smoke and fire. Here we go. Stand and action. hit the ramp right on the money and completed the stunt. But that was easy compared to his next assignment. He must take out an even more famous Beverly Hills landmark, Gucci. They're going to run out when he hits the ramp. Winnie. Yeah, when he hits the ramp. The non-stop action in the taking of Beverly Hills requires the specialized skills of Jack Gill, a true pro among pros in the demanding and dangerous world of stunts. Cindy's already learned the first